Welcome back everyone to another video. In this one, we are going to talk about how to set your page titles with Angular. We're going to discuss the legacy strategy that we used to do prior to Angular 13 and before that, but we are also going to see how to implement that into Angular 14, which is coming up. So the new router, it's absolutely amazing and it's so accessible. Let's get started. <laughs> So first of all, you can find the code in the video description so you can quickly clone and test it out yourself. But what we are going to do is that we are going to use the main branch to start off. So first of all, this is an Angular application that we have and it's really simple. What we have is essentially home page where we have certain users that are downloaded from the random user API. Then what we have is that if you click on a particular user, for example, if I click Ruby, you will see that we get a detailed page where we can see Ruby and we can also see some similar contacts from here. So technically what we are doing in this project is that we are caching these users. So once we get them from network requests, we don't fetch them again. But if you see at the top, the title here says ATS and there could be multiple scenarios where we might want to change these titles based on the route that we are on. For example, if I want to go to a particular page, I want to make this so that it says ATS, but also the name of the person. So that's what we are going to implement right now. For this one, we are making sure that right now we are on 13.2.4 or v13 of angular you can see that the routers version is also 13.x and the other packages are also at 13.x so right now i'm running the application and i've already served this so make sure that you have installed the packages by running npm install and then you are running npm start to run this on localhost 4200 now let's talk about the initial strategy or the legacy strategy what we used to do is that we used to essentially implement this strategy somewhere at the top or at the root component some people have used Used app component for this some people use some other component but they make sure that one of the top most components within your architecture or within your application so how do we go about implementing the scenario where if I go to a particular user I should be able to see the name of the user so for that we need to do a couple of things first of all we are going to implement the on init lifecycle here so we are going to say implements on init then we are also going to use constructor to essentially involve our user service so we have this user service where we have certain functions and when we go to a particular page we essentially call this get user method to get the particular user we are going to essentially do private user service and here we are going to import the user service just like this then we also want to listen to the route changes so for that we are going to include the router service so we are going to say private router and router now that we have these two things in place we can go ahead and implement our ng on init method and inside here we are going to do the magic so we are going to listen to the router itself so we are going to say this dot router dot events and then we are going to subscribe to these but before subscribing we are also going to do something else as well so let me show you what that is first of all we are going to make sure that we are only listening to events that are the navigation and events because there are multiple events like navigation is start and there are others as well but we want to listen to the navigation and event that's when we know that the routing has ended or finished and we are now on the second page or the uh, next page so we are going to pipe this and we are going to use the filter method to filter out the event so we are going to say hey event and here we are going to say event instance off and there we can say navigation end so you can see that we got navigation cancel and error start we only want the navigation end one now that we have this we are going to get this event here and now we can extract out this URL to make sure that we get the ID of the user so we can fetch it. So here I'm just going to say event. I'm going to quickly console.log the event. And if we do so, let's see what happens in the console when we do so. So I'm gonna quickly go to the other page and you can see that we got this navigation and event. And here we have this URL that we can see. Now you can notice that in this URL, we get this as the ID. So what I can do is that I can extract out this URL and I can see say if or actually we need a check and we can say if event dot url dot includes so if this url includes the word user then we are going to talk about this now you can see that here it says url does not exist on event blah 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 so you can define the type here as navigation end 
just to make sure TypeScript knows about this one and now we don't have any error. So if we have the situation where we are getting this URL, then we are going to say cons URL equals to event dot URL dot split and we are going to split it by slash and then we are going to get the second or index two. So if we split it by the slash, you will see that everything before the slash is zero, then this user is one and then this ID is at the second index. Once we get the URL, then it's all easy. We can definitely just do this dot user service dot get user and then we can give it the ID. Now it's sort of weird when we make another subscription call or another observable call within subscribe. That's super weird. So what I would rather do is after using this filter, I'm going to use a merge map method so I can say merge map just to chain these things. So instead of getting the event here, we are going to start getting the event here just like this and then I can see what to do with this one. So I'm going to move all of this code right here. So if this events URL includes this uh, user value, then we are good. But then I'm just going to return this value and that means that I'm returning an observable of the value null, which means that now here I'm either going to get the user null or a particular user. So instead of this event, now I'm going to start getting a user which could be of the type I user or null. Now I can easily check what do I want. So if we got the user, then we can say console.log user. Otherwise we can say console.log no user or we could say not a user url essentially so now if i refresh this you are going to see that we get the logs and we also get this not a user url log as well so here we have the user log but we also then have this one so we should have moved this into an else and now if i refresh now you will see that we only get the user log in this case so if i go to console you see the user here and if I go to home, you will see that it says not a user URL. So we are good with this situation where we get the user in case of a user URL, which is this one. And if you go to home, it doesn't get it. So now that we have got the user and the not a user use case, all we need to do is just replace this code with actually setting up the title. For that, what we want to do is we want to use a service called title service. So I'm going to add this right here. So we can say something like private and here we can say title service and here we can say title. So it comes from angular slash platform browser. And now that we have this, what we can do is that we can quickly go here and we also need to make sure that we import this one off from rxjs and finally we need to make sure that here we can say this dot title service dot set title and here we can now provide the name so here you can see that we are using username first username last and in here we can simply set the default title so this dot title service dot set title and here we can say ats as before and here we are going to concatenate this with the ATS word. So ATS and then here we have the user first name, last name. So now in this case, you can see that the title right now is ATS. But if I go to a user, now you see that we got the title of the page set to the user's name. If I go to another user, you will see that it sets it automatically. Similarly, all of this works. If I go to home page, boom, we got our title strategy worked on. Now this is one way of doing this. And in this case, we are dependent on the user title itself, but you might also want to just use other strategies. For example, if you might have seen that in different routing scenarios, you could essentially add a data here and here you can add a title property like home and you can also fetch this inside this whole process and get it assigned. So you have defined these titles onto the routes, but then you get them in here into a global handler and then you need to set the title. Now with Angular 14, it's much, much easier. It's much easier. And we are going to have a quick look into how to do that. So what you need to do is that first of all, you need to make sure that you are upgrading your project to Angular 14 at the moment. And the stable version is not there yet. So what you would want to do is to just update the CLI and core to next. The way you would do that is that first you need to make sure that your code right now is not in a state where it is not committed. So I'm going to quickly just do a temporary commit. So I can say something like git add and here we can say git commit legacy title strategy. Okay. Now what you need to do is that you need to upgrade do ng update and then you can say angular CLI 
add next. This will upgrade this to Angular 14. So let's quickly wait until this happens. So here you can see that when we did the Angular CLI, it also updated a lot of other projects, including the router and the other relative dependencies. So it's good that we just upgraded the CLI and it essentially upgraded everything else. Now that we have this, we can start our application again. And now let's talk about how to implement this. So with this change, what happened is that I can now go to my routing module and inside here for every route that we have, we can now add a title property. So if I start typing title, you can see that this was not supported in version 13. So all you need to do here is then you can just specify that this is called home, for example. Now this is a route which is a redirect route. So I'm probably not going to put it here, but rather on the home page itself. And then here I can just put something like a title and here we can say user detail, for example, right? To comply with what we had earlier, something like ATS home and here ATS user, right? So if I do this, let's see what happens. So now if I go and run my application, you will see that it automatically says here ATS home, which is amazing because now it's so easy to add this title. I don't have to add a data property here and then go to my app module and then do all of that, right? So that's how it's working. And if I go to user, you can see that it says ATS user, right? Now this is essentially going to override what I just did in app component here. So even though we have these things going on here, it's not gonna impact that. So I can first just remove all of this just to make sure that we are not colliding anything. Now you can see that if I go to home, automatically it updates it, no need of all of this code. Now let's say I wanted the same feature that I can assign the title of the particular route or the user when we go to a user route. How do I achieve that here? So for that, what you can do is that you can implement a custom resolver because this title can accept two things, either a string or a type resolve. This is important to understand. So first of all, for simple titles, just write this down and know this that if you have, for example, children, and let's suppose there was a path here that was something like just, just like this, for example, and then you can set a title here, which is something like ATS home inside. Notice you would know that when this happens, for example, right now we don't have a component assigned to this one, but when you have a route like this one, it will go to nested child, which is right now activated and it will get the title of that route. So it's important to understand that you can actually make nested title properties and it will always pick the right one. Now let's talk about the resolve scenario. To implement the resolve scenario, what we can do is that we can create a service. So you can either create the service by CLI, like ng generate service, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to create it here. So we are going to start with injectable and we are going to say this is going to be provided in root. Then we are going to say export class user title resolver. And here we can say constructor. We are going to import the user service and we are doing some, some of the, some of the code here thanks to GitHub Copilot. So I'm going to import the user service here. We have a resolve method inside this title resolver. This is important to be able to call it a resolver. Now that we have this, what you need to understand is that this resolve method automatically has this route parameter, which is provided by Angular. So when we are navigating between different routes, we get the next route or the future route or the target route in this one. We get the snapshot and then we can use that snapshot to get the ID out, which is this one, the ID that you see up top. We get that ID and then we use this ID with the get user call. So here I can say user ID and then here I should be able to do route dot paramap dot get. And if I go down to this definition of this user detail component or the user slash UID definition, you see that this is the parameter. We call it UUID. So I'm going to use UUID here and then we are going to pass this user ID. Now that you understand that this is getting the user, I don't have to return this observable, but I need to return the final title as a string from this resolve method. And we do that by using the pipe method here. And then we say map. And then essentially in this map method, we are going to get the user from this service. So I'm going to say something like user, I user. And here I can simply say return. And then here we can say something like ATS and exactly this what GitHub Copilot said. So once we do so, this is the title that is going to be returned back and we can set it there. Now that we have this title resolver already set, 
instead of this title that we are using here, ATS user, I can use this user title resolver. And that would mean that it would automatically bind this resolver with this route and would essentially show us the right user. Let's test it out. So if I refresh now, you will notice that it says user title resolver is not provided anywhere. We see that we get an error and that is because it says no provider for user title resolver. And that is right because I've made a mistake. Here before this injectable, there should be an add sign which says angular that this is essentially a decorator. So if we save this now, this error should be gone. So if I go ahead and click here, now you see that we get the title correctly. So if I go down, you see that every user that we click gets the title accurately right from this resolver. And that is absolutely amazing. Now, the thing is, if I go back to my home page, you see that it assigns this to home. So if I go back to my route and let's say if I just move this away or this title away, you will see that it's called ATS. But if I go somewhere else, you see that this is also getting all of this information here. Now this is great because we have got our user's strategy or this user title resolver configured. But if you wanted something globally still, and that means that if you wanted to modify that, hey, each particular route should have some sort of prefix before it or something like that globally in one place, we could use our own title strategy. So let's say this was not called ATS pipe. And here even let's say this is now called home right if this is the case and we have some further routes which do not have a title what we want to do is that in case we have a title we use ats pipe and then the title name otherwise we just go ahead and we use ats the word ats in this case so if i see this home if i refresh now you see that it says home because it gets this title from here but i want to say ats pipe now if you have a lot of routes it makes sense to have them at one place so for that we are going to implement a custom strategy or title strategy so we are going to say injectable and here we are also going to say provided in root now we are going to say export class custom title strategy right and we are going to say extends title strategy we have to import it from angular router as you can see here so we imported this from angular router now we just need to call the super class but for that we are going to say private title title so we are importing the title service we are going to call the method super here to make this extend happy now we need to implement this function that it says is missing which is the update title from class title strategy so we are going to go here and say override update title and here we get the snapshot router snapshot and now we can work with some stuff so first we get the title that angular has to figure out so for that we say const title equals to this dot build title which is a method where if we provide the snapshot it is going to go ahead figure out what title to use after using either the title property or the resolver so we are going to pass the route snapshot here then we see if there is a title so if there is not a title then we just need to say this dot title dot set title and here we can say ats but if there is a title then we need to do something else so we are going to say this dot title dot set title and then here we are going to add this prefix so we can say ats and then we say title just like this so let's save this and try to see what happens so if i save this now nothing would happen because we need to provide this strategy into our routing module so here we are going to go and add another property called providers and here we are going to say provide title strategy and here we are going to say use class and here we are going to say custom title strategy now when we do this let's see what happens here now you can see the title automatically changed to ats home instead of just home notice that here we have just defined home but it goes here runs all the magic and then sets to ats home and if i go to a user you will see that it already has this ats pipe here and then the username so it's getting the ats pipe from right here but the title or the username is being retrieved from our resolver as it is so this is a great way to just put this whole logic into one place
Again, I would not recommend you to create all of these services within the routing module. I'm just doing this to teach you, but a better way would be to create their own services and placing the code according to their responsibilities. So I hope that makes sense. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, press the thumbs up button, share this video with everyone. This is something really new and really cool and highly enables the accessibility that we want in all of our web applications. So if you found this video useful, make sure to share this and let me know in the comments what I should be covering next and feel free to join our Discord because the community there is amazing. You can share ideas, chat, and also get mentors. Having that said, I wish you a very happy week ahead and as always, happy coding. I'm going to see you in the next one.